Hello, in this tutorial I am going to share with you how to create a realistic terrain using geographic data from Google and Blender. So uh, this is the result, what you can expect from uh, in twin motion and let's do it. And uh, first thing we prepare our assets, what we need and first thing we need to have Blender. So we go to this website and download this open source free software uh, Blender and everybody I think know about it get the latest version and then we after we install it we go to github this page all links are in the description and then uh, click on code and download zip file and please don't unzip it because we don't need to do that that's it and now let's open uh, Blender and to op this is the first thing what you will see select everything here and click delete and then we need to install this add-on what we have downloaded previously. So to do so, edit, preferences, add-ons, install, and navigate to the place where you have downloaded the file. And it is here and just install add-on. Okay, we got it. All what we have to do now is just click and check this box and Last thing, we must assign a cache folder here for the base maps. So I have done that, so, so please do it. And that's it. After you do it, close it, and now we are ready to go. Now we will see a new tab here called GIS. Click on it, and then choose Web Geodata, Base Map, Google, Satellite, and then press OK. Now we will see that we have a map uh, in the viewport and we press G and then we get this window. Here we write the, the location where we want to capture, uh, if you know it. For me, I'm just using uh, Google map to choose any place I would love to capture and just right click and get the first uh, location here. And uh, I have already copied so let's go back to Blender and paste it here and make the zoom level about 15 and then we say OK. After a while you will find you already automatically uh, have been there in this place and now all what you have to do is just press E. You will get this cropped map plane uh, and then before you do anything, just click on GIS again, web, uh, geodata, and get elevation this time. And then choose the server and OK. Give it a couple of seconds and later we will sh see that we are. Uh, now it's done. If you rotate now, the perspective mode you will see some kind of height map is working but it's not that realistic in my opinion so all what we have to do now is that we go to this uh, modifier properties and uh, underneath the uh, advanced thing you will find strength I change this to 2 so now it's a little bit more okay for me and I will just apply this modifiers and now we are ready with the mesh we just go to export it as obj or fpx or whatever you want and i have done that before so this part you can do it on your own now let's go to uh, twin motion to show you how after you import it how it looks like for me it's it's good and you can just play with all light set, setup you want and a little bit of textures and you can, if you wish, you can add a plane and apply a water. So you can just, if you are having a close shot, you want realistic water, you can do so. But for me, I didn't need to do that because I just make the reflection level low or zero. So I feel like it's okay for long shot. So I, I hope this helped you and thank you for watching.